Light travels down a fiber optic cable by bouncing repeatedly off the walls. Each tiny photon or particle of light bounces down the fiber like a person sliding down a large enclosed water slide at a fun park. Now you might expect a beam of light traveling in a clear glass fiber simply to leak out of the edges, but if light hits glass at a really shallow angle of less than 42 degrees, it reflects back in again as though the glass were really a mirror. This phenomenon is called total internal reflection. It's one of the things that keeps light inside the fiber. The other thing that keeps light in the fiber is the structure of the glass, which is made up of two separate parts. The central part of the glass is called the core, and that's the part that the light travels through. Wrapped around the outside of the core is another layer of glass called the cladding. The cladding's job is to keep the light signals inside the core. It can do this because it's made up of a different type of glass than the core is, which has a lower refractive index compared to the core, which has a higher refractive index. What is refractive index? Refractive index is the speed of light in a vacuum divided by the speed of light in a material. Refractive index measures how much a material refracts light. And what is refraction of light? As a light ray passes from one transparent medium to another, it changes direction. This phenomena is called refraction of light. How much that light ray changes its direction depends on the refractive index of the mediums.